We left Glasgow and headed to Oban, where we took a ferry to Castle Bay and the southern start of the Hebridean Way. We were eager to experience the remote landscapes of the Scottish Isles and see some historic sites and wildlife along the way. The Hebridean Way is a 185-mile cycling route that traverses 10 islands off the western coast of Scotland. The islands are connected by two ferries and six causeways, allowing cyclists to easily cross the archipelago. Also, we mispronounced the Hebrides throughout the video, as well as some of the town names, and would like to extend our sincere apologies in advance. Keep moving, they can't get you. They being the midges. We've arrived in Midgeland. Can't find my bug net. Oh, they're pretty terrible. Castle Bay on the island of Farra in the southern part of the Hebrides and now we're gonna get groceries and find a place to wild camp. I'm gonna go find a campsite down over here. We got a bunch of weird snacks for dinner. Cocktail sausages and hummus and a bunch of things that don't go together but it'll work. Hey and we don't have to cook. We're at the airport in Vera. I'm not exactly sure where the planes fly into. It must just be active at certain tides because the whole bay is covered in water right now, but it's probably a really cool airport to fly into.
we're taking the opportunity to ride a little bit of the actual walking path of the Hebridean Way. Uh, not too technical, just nice uh, dirt road, grass road. Uh, the main biking route is just to our right, but hey, why not ride this? It's kind of fun. I go through brake pads like it's my job. So we're sheltering behind the museum from the wind with lots of weird trash and stuff. But it's just my front brake pad, so hopefully we get them changed quick. So this little clip is always what breaks when the brake pads die and it makes a really horrible sound. Uh, so makes it easy to know when you need to change them, I guess. <laughs> Not many uh, trees here in the Hebrides and we've got a strong 30 mile an hour tailwind that's just pushing us right along. Um, we're riding south to north and there's been a couple cyclists riding north to south and uh, it's just so, I have such empathy for the fighting the 30 mile an hour headwind while the other cyclists are uh, just cruising past you. Um, yesterday we were on four different islands. Uh, two we crossed with causeways and then we took a 40 minute ferry ride that was only about six pound 50. Yeah, pretty neat how you can move between all these islands very easily. The roads are pretty narrow. So at times you're kind of having to pull over and let cars go past. It's the only uh, kind of downside, but it's pretty low traffic. Well, last night we set up the tent in a dry, flat spot. That kind of seemed too good to be true. And uh, this morning we woke up to about two inches of water after a ton of rain. So surprisingly dry in a bog is probably a bad sign. <laughs> Today was super windy and rainy and horrible, so we spent a lot of the day in this little bus stop here. And it even has a shower. A lot of these showers have been like a pound for two to five minutes, but this one was 15, so totally took advantage of that.
We're now on the Isle of Lewis. We rode the Isle of Harris uh, today and yesterday. Uh, probably my favorite island so far in the Hebrides. Big glacial carved valleys and just huge expansive views. Uh, it's very foggy and rainy, but still a nice ride. 35 mile an hour winds with gusts up to like 49. So that's quite the experience, but mostly a tailwind. This is a traditional dwelling that's open for people to look at. It's a nice cozy bed area, some little nooks over there, and the fireplace and cooking area over here. On the road a little bit earlier than usual this morning, headed into Stornoway to catch the two o'clock ferry to Ula Pool. It's gonna be the end of our Hebridean way. We decided to not go out to the butt of Lewis. It's about 30 miles of an out and back, and the winds are just too strong. We'd be fighting a headwind the whole way back, and it would add a whole nother day. And we have a flight book now out of Oslo, so we have a deadline. It's kind of rare for us. We have about 2,500 miles to do in the next three months, which should be pretty doable, but still wanna make sure we're on track and uh, Still got a lot of Scotland and England to ride before we even get to mainland Europe. So, cutting it a little bit short. I'm sure the Butt of Lewis is very cool, but we're gonna miss it.